Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters. Today's Gospel invites us to reflect about the prayers made by the two people, Pharisee and their tax collector. Both went to the temple and both prayed. One was justified and other one went home unjustified. Pharisee first went to the temple and prayed. He addressed God for creating him beautifully with a Jewish pattern of prayers. The second part of his prayer, he claimed himself that he was so much righteous before God. And in the third part, he compared himself with the person who was standing at the entrance of the temple, who was not able to raise his head and was striking himself in his chest and was praying. And he compared himself to the tax collector saying that he was much greater and righteous than this public sinner. Pharisees were the sect of religious group in the Jewish community who esteemed themselves as very great righteous person in the world. And they claimed themselves that they were the one who were able to be righteous before God and none other. The word parousium means separated ones. So these people, they claimed themselves as a righteous people in the Jewish community. The tax collectors were again a group of people lived in Jewish community who were considered as public sinners because they had their association with the Gentiles and their affairs. And these two went to the temple for prayer. The word of God says the tax collector went home justified but not, not the Pharisee. Verdict 16 says, as the physical pain signals the unhealthiness in one's physical body, the feeling of guilt signals the unhealthiness of the conscience. The Pharisee had an easy conscience. But the tax collector had a conscience pained with the feelings of guilt. And the tax collector with his pain of guilt prayed to God. But the silence of the conscience of the Pharisee made him impenetrable before God and man. But the cry conscience, the cry of the conscience of the tax collector made him capable of truth and love. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when we go to the church for prayer, do we allow our conscience to be silenced, to be silenced of a so many guilt feeling as the Pharisees did, or do we allow our conscience to cry with the pain of feelings of sins, feelings of guilt? How do we evaluate weightage? our conscience. Is the conscience easy conscience or 
a conscience racked by feelings of sins and guilt. The Lord accepts only those conscience which is pained by the feelings of guilt, not the HD conscience that is dry. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day, allowing us to think of our conscience. When we have guilt feeling of our sins, feelings of guilt, we are sure that our conscience is sick. Help us to realize these kind of feelings so that we may come back to you, Lord. Never allow us to silence our conscience. Allow us to make our conscience cry with the feelings of sins and guilt. The philosophy of this world today make us to silence our conscience and in turn it creates lot of psychological problems inside us Lord. Send your Holy Spirit so that we may have a grace and be and going home justified. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.